Today, I'm gonna be playing Bowser's Fury, but I'm not allowed to touch anything that is red. Alright, before we start playing the game, I want to point out the elephant in the room. I know Mario is wearing a red shirt, but no, that doesn't count as touching red, okay? So do not type anything like that in the comment section down below, okay? It's gonna be annoying! Oh, you're doing it already? Okay, sure. <sighs> When we first wake up in this brand new world, we are surrounded by blue and green stuff, allowing us to make our way to the boat, and this boat features a big carpet. And this carpet is... red-ish? Uh, this is kind of hard to see because everything is dark, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the carpet is actually red. So you know, let's just move around it just to be safe. You'll also notice that when a fireball is close to touching you, a red circle forms underneath it. So we'll have to dodge this red circle as well. Alright, let's get to the cat shine now. Wait a minute, these blocks are all red! Well, this is it, the quest is over. Oh, never mind, they all exploded for no reason whatsoever! Allowing us to get up and grab the cat shine. Which is red! <sighs> On one side, yay! Let's grab the back plate, which is yellow, and we'll be all good. Junior has red hair, which could be dangerous if we end up jumping on his head. So, you know, let's choose the no help option to make sure he stays away from us at all time. Let's check out Scamper Shores and grab the cat bell. There you go, no more wearing red joke for you, ha ha. As you climb up, you'll notice that the cat shards are actually red on both faces, which doesn't allow us to grab them, which is a shame, but at least we can actually get to the top and grab another cat shine. Just watch out for those spinning red fences platforms and everything will be good. Climbing up Pounce Bounce Island is not too difficult, but you do have to avoid the big red arrows on the signs as well as those red enemies those big red platforms, and pretty much anything resembling a cat shard. Once we get the top cat shine, well, let's just dive to get this one over there. Timing is actually everything here, but it is possible to do it just right. Fort Flaptrap is up, and defeating the cat bullies isn't too difficult. Just get them to stand on the platform, and life will be good. We now have five cat shines, allowing us to go fight the big bad dude. As opposed to the no green challenge, there is a bit of difficulty with these Fury Bowser fights. Because as you can see, this dude has flaming red hair. And we can't just go ahead and punch his face, because we could touch the hair and touch the red and then it'd be game over. Thankfully, we can just wait for Bowser to jump in the air, wait for him to approach us, dodge the red circle with a cat dive, and then do a ground pound attack on the blue sides of Bowser. This is a little bit confusing, and we have to be extra careful, but if done correctly, Fury Bowser will be gone, and we'll get a couple new worlds to explore. But just before we do this, we'll make sure to subscribe and smash like real quick, and as for me, I'll gather a couple more cat shines from the first area, like this one where we have to punch Gooigi, this one where I bring a baby cat back to her mama, and finally, this one that requires us to punch this big blue button. Alright, time to hop on Plessy and get to some new areas. But wait a minute, is Plessy red? Well, not really, eh? She's orange, but she does wear a red handkerchief. Hopefully, we can just sit back and not touch it. And it looks like, yep, Mario is actually holding onto the handkerchief. Meaning, we cannot actually ride Plessy. Dang it! At least we can just swim to new areas anyways. It, it takes a while, it, it's pretty slow actually. And in fact it is pretty tedious. But yes, we can still do it nonetheless. Slipskate Slope is the first new area we'll visit. And basically, as long as you avoid getting into the Goomba Shoe as it turns red, well, you'll be able to simply walk on the edges of the stage and get to the end to get a cat shine. Class Wipe Coliseum starts off with a fight against the Mad Lad, and this dude is not red. Well, I mean, he has a red shell on his back, but as long as you bounce on Boom Boom's head and you don't touch the shell, well, everything's gonna be good. Trickety Tower is also pretty easy, because you just need to walk on those blue invisible paths. 
Watch out for the red cat shards, and soon the cat shine will be yours. Fighting Pum Pum was also pretty easy, as she is pink and not red. I wasn't so sure about the shell though, so I just kind of ignored it. I just jumped on her head and everything was good. Cycling back to Trickety Tower, I got some blue coins for another cat shine, and then went back to the Colosseum again, fighting Boom Boom once more. Just avoid the red part of the Colosseum when going back there, and you'll have no problem whatsoever. To get my 15th cat shine, I went back to Trickety, pushed that switch, and then I just climbed to it. There was nothing that was red in here, so everything was good. Fury Bowser is back and angry, and once again, we'll have to avoid hitting him and instead dodge everything that is red up until he's done for. This requires patience, as he attacks in new ways before actually doing his ground pound attack, but yeah, it is possible to beat him yet again. Alright, time to swim to a new area to get a couple more cat shines. Well, you know what, let's grab this cat shine on the iceberg before going to Chris Climb Castle. And to be honest, I couldn't actually figure out if these wooden platforms were actually red. They kinda do look red-ish, so maybe touching them is not my best option. Thankfully, using the propeller block and the power of the cat suit, we can actually climb the entire tower without ever touching any red wooden platform. You just need to do the cat climb extension glitch to climb up this wall, but yes, it is possible to get to the top. And that is pretty epic. Speaking of this cat climbing extension exploit, well, we can use it to get another cat shine in here. Normally, you're supposed to jump on those spinning red platforms, but we can just climb to the top and have like over 10 seconds to spare to grab the cat shine. Pfft, easy. Even getting the third cat shine is actually pretty easy. Now to unlock new areas. I need one more cat shine. So, you know, I suppose we could get Fury Bowser to help out a little. C can you break those blocks, my dude? Ah, thank you, buddy. Alright, let me just now quickly use my ground pound technique to kick your butt once again. And now that Bowser's gone, we get new areas to explore, which is actually pretty cool. The thing is, I'm starting to lose a bit of confidence on the amount of cat shines we can get from those new areas. I'm not so sure we can get to 50 cat shines and beat the game. So you know what? I have decided to use a technique that I learned from one of my previous video. Every time I am about to grab a cat shine from now on, I will be using my Bowser amiibo to summon Fury Bowser and hurt him with the light of the lighthouse. If done correctly, this will allow me to skip one Bowser fight, and hopefully this will be good enough to beat the challenge. As I am exploring the new areas, I stumbled on a cat shine waiting alone over there, and I made my way to the top of the Pipe Path Tower for yet another one. And while we're in Pipe Path Tower, let's do this blue coins one, shall we? Getting the cat shine in the cage was also fairly easy. You know what? Going to Risky Whisker has a big problem, because as soon as you step on these donut platforms, they turn red. So yeah, we cannot do that, because that would mean touching red. This is bad. I think, like, this level is actually not possible. We just cannot go there. But that's okay. We could probably manage to get one shine or two if we're using a propeller box or something. But you know what? For the meantime, let's grab cat shines from Lake Lap Cat. Like this one on top of clouds, and this one where you just fight enemies. Roiling Roller Isle is up, and there's no red platforms or blocks, meaning getting to the top is pretty easy. I needed a cat suit, so I went back to Scamper Shores, and while I was there, I also got that cat shine you get by bringing back this key. Oh, and this one too. Let's climb up this waterfall to get yet another shine, and now that we're back in Roiling Roller Isle, we'll probably be able to get another one. Yup, that worked, and Fury Bowser can actually help us get another one. And another one! And another one! Yo, Fury Bowser is actually quite helpful! And as you can see, he's also running low on health too, which is actually good. This is why I scan the Bowser amiibo every single time. With Fury Bowser breaking these blocks, we actually managed to get 40 cat shines and unlock the Giga Bell, which is pretty good. And look at Fury Bowser's health! 
Yeah, we're going to be able to kick his butt super quickly. And it's done. We did it. Now we just need to do the final chase sequence and everything will be good. Oh no. Guys, I for gore. We have to hop on Plessy to do that final battle. And Plessy has a red handkerchief. <sighs> I can't believe I did all of this for nothing and there's no way to catch up to Bowser by swimming. So yeah, we're in big trouble. This is kinda sad to be honest. No, it is not possible to beat Bowser's Fury without touching the color red. We still managed to get 40 cat shines which combined with the Bowser amiibo lighthouse technique allowed us to get to the final chase sequence. But this chase sequence requires Plessy. Ah, <sighs> big sad. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, well, smash like. And make sure to check out the No Green Challenge if you haven't already, because this one is pretty good. Alright, bye!